Introduction to Quadratic Inequalities. In this video we will examine what is a quadratic inequality and what are we doing when we are solving them. Firstly we will look at what a quadratic equation is. A quadratic equation in standard form looks like this. ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero where a, b and c can be any real number except that a cannot be zero. A quadratic inequality is similar in that just like in a quadratic equation, the highest power of the variable in a quadratic inequality is also 2. However, it is different that instead of an equal sign that we have here, in a quadratic inequality, we will have a less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to sign. So sometimes we need to solve quadratic inequalities like these. In the first example here, it reads x squared plus 3x is greater than 2 and the symbol here is greater than. In the second example here, 7x squared less than 28, the symbol is less than. In our third example it reads 5 is greater than or equal to x squared minus x and the symbol used in this one is greater than or equal to. And in our final example, 2y squared plus 1 is less than or equal to y the symbol we can see here means less than or equal to. Solving inequalities is very like solving equations in that you do most of the same things. However, when we are solving equations we try to find points such as the ones marked equal to zero. So we're looking for points. However, when we're solving inequalities we're trying to find intervals such as the ones marked less than zero or greater than zero that we can see here. 